Hey everyone, welcome back. So today's video I want to focus on my Rebecca Minkoff handbags and I want to talk to you about the wear and tear, the quality, should you even buy these things? Are they worth the money that they are, that they cost? Um, these are still a, I would consider a designer handbag, just an accessible designer handbag price point. Now let me tell you, I have spent a large range of money on handbags. I have bought handbags from Target, uh, TJ Maxx, Walmart, um, niche boutiques, all the way up to I have handbags from Louis Vuitton. So that is a very large range of money spent on handbags. And so that is my experience with handbags. That is where I'm gonna be coming from. Another designer is Michael Kors I have handbags from. And so I kind of want to bring you my opinion on the use of these. As I stated, I've had these for over five years. And I thought this would be a good video idea because I myself was trying to do some research the other night and I couldn't find exactly what I was looking for. And so I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna make my video with my opinions and hopefully this helps you out so if you are just stumbling upon this video I hope you find what you're looking for I'm gonna to try to cover everything from price point all the way up to how things have worn over the last five years I'm gonna give you mod shots of me wearing these items so you can see them on my body and so without further ado welcome if you are new please subscribe would love to have you here and let's get into this a little backstory on Rebecca Minkoff she is a designer out of New York City or she currently resides in New York and she started her company in 2005 with her brother, Yuri, and uh, kind of the idea of creating modern bohemian style handbags. Now, I would say I don't have a boho style per se, but I love the casualness, I love the approachableness of these handbags, and some of the silhouettes mimic higher end designs that we are very um, well aware of, and we'll talk about that in a minute. I was really drawn to the casualness, yet tr a little bit trendy, a little bit fun, whimsical style of her designs. And so the first handbag that I ever purchased from her was this one called the Moto Hobo Style. Now this particular one I bought at the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale, let me just consult my list here in 2015. And this exact name they no longer make, but they have a style that they've since renamed the M-A-B handbag, which I think stands for morning after bag. So it is currently available that it's just been renamed. There might be slight style differences, but honestly, the whole silhouette, it still is reigning true to this. So if this interests you, you can pick up this particular handbag. It comes with a 21 inch completely adjustable and removable strap. So you can wear this as a shoulder bag, you can wear this crossbody, you can wear it in the crook of your arm because it has this short little handle here on the top, which I love. The size of this is 14 and a quarter inches wide by 10 and a half inches high and six and a quarter inches in depth. Now my particular handbag here is made of leather. It has a pebbling on it, so it's like slightly tumbled, which I love. All of the hardware on this is gold and it's beautiful. So the current style that is reminiscent of this is actually made of suede. Now should you consult Poshmark or Fashion File or any of those pre-loved markets, I'm sure you could get your hands on this exact handbag. The inside of it is kind of an open pit, if you will. Um, it does have two little, this is difficult to show here, two little pockets here. Now, I don't know if my current phone, let me see. You know, since 2015, everything as far as phones has gotten much larger than it once was. Yeah, you know what, it still fits. Check it out, this is the iPhone 12 Pro Max and it still fits in there. Well, that's good to know. I don't usually throw my phone in that pocket, but there are two pockets there and then there is a zippered pocket on the back and then her Rebecca Minkoff logo there and then the inside is just like a lining. So this handbag currently retails for $348. I did not pay that. Like I said, I bought this during the Nordstrom anniversary sale and that sale is coming up this summer. So keep that in mind because Rebecca always puts handbags in the sale from what I've gathered. I've been shopping the sale since about 2015. I think this was the first time I shopped the sale. And um, you know, if you can get these on sale, I would highly recommend that. So let's get into the wear and tear. 
Personally, I think that the leather on this is incredibly buttery and supple. Now, some of her handbags are a more structured leather where I would compare them to like maybe a Safiano, Safiano leather, which is a little bit more stiff, a little bit more structured. For a st from a style uh, perspective, I think this particular hobo style, it needs to be slouchy, it needs to be just kind of free flowing, go with the flow. I think that that suits this particular style. Now, if you're gonna get a handbag that's a, you're gonna be wearing with like uh, getting dressed up for work every day, you're gonna be wearing a business suit, I think a structured handbag fits that description, fits that type of style a little bit better. As far as wear and tear, the only thing that I've noticed is from me carrying the bag on the strap. And you can see some of the leather is kind of cracking, uh, wearing off there a little bit. Mind you, let me let you know, I'm not a person who babies my handbags. My kids play with my handbags. Uh, my cats play with my handbags. I throw them into my car. I throw them into the shopping cart. I am not one that, you know, is really gentle on purpose. Now, I'm also not the opposite. I, I'm not careless, but I don't, I'm not always mindful of, oh, I need to be careful with my purse. It's more like, where's my purse? <laughs> where's my kids? Where's my keys? Kind of a situation. So this would be fully, fully expected. And also, I primarily carry it as a shoulder bag like this. And so throwing it over my shoulder like this, I would expect some wear and tear. I sometimes wear it crossbody depending on the situation. It's comfortable to wear crossbody because the strap, like I said, is completely adjustable. It's a same material buttery strap as the handbag itself and it's adjustable. So you can, you know, really have it hit you wherever you need to have it hit, hitting you dependent on, you know, your height. But it's very comfortable to wear crossbody. I mean, if you're gonna really load it up, it's going to, of course, get heavier and pull on your shoulder, which is why I don't prefer to wear a bigger, larger bag crossbody because it's heavier, it's got more things in it, and it really digs into my shoulder, and I already have enough neck and shoulder pain that we don't need to increase that. This is such a versatile handbag. I love this style. I think it's casual. However, I would carry this handbag today with this outfit. I think it still lends itself to be versatile enough in style that you can wear it casually with jeans and sweaters and t-shirts or dolled up with a pair of heels. That's why I love this bag so much. This was just a style I really gravitated towards. I love the color. I think at the time it might have been called like saddle or something, just like a nice camely brown. I don't know, I'm really impressed with this handbag. I think it has worn well. I, it's gotten a lot of use, but visually speaking, I bought, I mean, we're going on six years, almost six years in August that I bought this bag and it literally looks brand new. Now it does come with extra leather tassels. I did have to put a new one of those on there because my cats got a hold of this and had a little bit too much fun. And then it does come with a dust bag, the authenticity card and all of that. So I would say for the price point, this style handbag, highly recommend. I love this handbag. Another handbag that I have from Rebecca Minkoff is called the Love Crossbody smitten with this handbag. This is the handbag that really mimics the silhouette of a Chanel handbag, in my opinion. It has the quilting. You kind of get even E. Saint Laurent vibes with the quilting on this, but you're not up in that price point. So this handbag currently retails for $295. I cannot remember what I paid for this. I bought this in 2016. I can't remember what I paid, but I know it wasn't full price. Rebecca Makeup's website often does sales. You can buy her stuff off of Nordstrom, so use your double points if you have a Nordstrom card, get the points for this. Her things are sold at many different retailers. So this is the Love Crossbody style with the gunmetal hardware, which I am so happy that I chose the gunmetal hardware. I think it lends itself to be a little bit more edgy, perhaps a little bit more casual. This does come in silver or gold. So if you prefer those metals, there are those options. It has the pocket in the back here that's magnetic. So you can, I usually slip like my phone in there like so, and then the front has a lobster claw closure, so it's locked or unlocked. And then the inside is just one black lined 
compartment and then there is a zippered compartment right here that I usually put keys or discrete items in and it does zip and then there's a small little pocket right here that I don't know maybe you'd put in mints in or you know something really small maybe a lip gloss uh, but I love the silhouette of this handbag. This handbag to me is a little bit more dressy, but that doesn't mean you can't wear it casual because I've worn it both ways. So this is nine and a three quarters inches wide. It is six inches high, and then it has a three inch depth. Now this is a 23 inch chain. It's not adjustable, however, it's removable. You can wear this as a shoulder bag, you can wear it as a crossbody bag, or you can take off these straps, double up the chain, and then wear it as a shoulder bag as well. I think a lot of the reasons I was drawn to this handbag is, once again, it just really reminded me of a Chanel handbag. Five years ago, I thought a Chanel handbag price point was way out of reach. And the prices on Chanel have increased so much in the last five years that now, I could probably honestly say I don't think I'll ever own a Chanel handbag because they're just so much money. Um, unless my YouTube career takes off or something like that, then maybe I would splurge for it. But I think that this handbag is hands down, I would even pay full price for this. $300 for this, it is leather. Now, I wouldn't say it's a, it's not a soft, supple leather like the other one. However, the chevron printing here is soft. The, the sides of it are a little bit more structured, so you're going to expect this part to be a little bit more rigid. But you want the leather to have shape. So it needs to have a little bit of rigidity, is that a word, uh, to it so it maintains its shape. But the back is very, very soft. It is all leather, but the lining on the inside is not. I really see hardly any signs of wear and tear. I'm looking at the seams here. I'm looking at maybe, maybe the back I've scratched a few times. But I mean, like I said, if you're gonna use your handbags, you can expect to see some little nicks here and there. I mean, I've had this bag for five, it'll be five years this summer that I have owned this handbag. And I mean, that is an absolute, you know, I expect things such as that to happen. But on the front of it, there is nothing. And I mean, when I wear this bag, I'm out, this is the part that shows towards other people. This is the side that lays against my body and just absolutely nothing. There's no like, let's see the strap on the top here. No, there's like no issues on the strap. Now I also will let you know, I don't use this as an everyday bag, okay? This isn't something I take out every day. But when I do use my handbags, I'd say I use them for about, maybe about three months at a time and then I switch them out. I really try to carry bags seasonally. So this is more of my winter handbag. Um, and then I carry this one in the summer. So this has been out in the rain, no issues. No issues at the seams. Yeah, I've definitely been caught in the rain in this. The bottom does not have feet, but it is black. And once again, I don't see any real issues of wear and tear. And the last thing that I own from Rebecca Mankoff is a wallet. Now this particular wallet I bought used off of Poshmark. I don't remember how old it was when I purchased it, but I know I wanted to buy a wallet to kind of match the style, because that's just how I am, uh, to match the style of the handbag. And this fits beautifully in here. Let me just open this up. So hard to show black. But this fits beautifully in here, and then I got my phone. You could probably fit a pair of sunglasses on top, uh, maybe a little hand cream. I mean, it's not a large bag, but for me, I only carry necessities for the most part, so I don't, I don't need large bags. I have times where I want a large bag, but on the daily, I prefer something smaller. Okay, so this wallet is, um, I, I can't remember when I bought this. It would have been around the same time that I bought the Love Crossbody. So probably 2016, maybe early 2017. I know I used this for like, oh my gosh, I used this until I got my first Louis and that was in 2017, 
2018. I don't know, I used it for a good few years. Now there is slight, and this is probably my fault. I think I remember this happening. Let me zoom you in here. There is some slight like discoloring back here. I think I had set it in some water or I got, I don't know, it's like black. Maybe I got some food dripped on here. That, that honestly is probably what happened. I'm kind of sort of messy. But you can see even this wallet, um, there's a little bit of dirt, like wear and tear here from kicking it around. But a lot of the times when I was using this wallet, like at, especially in the evening, if I was just gonna run and pick up dinner at a drive-thru or a gas station, I would just carry this wallet like this without a purse. And so my wallets get kind of dirty because I often use them as like a clutch or for going somewhere where I don't want to have a handbag. I just kind of grab my wallet and throw it in my pocket or make my husband carry it. So yeah, there is slight wear and tear there. But honestly, this looks still really, really good. It has lots of different uh, card slots here. It has an opening back here with a fun little print. It has opening here, here, and then a spot for your ID. And then it does um, snap close. However, I will tell you that this snap close is pointless. If you have this full with all, you know, all these slots full, this doesn't actually snap. So it's kind of more for if you carry, I don't know, one card and an ID, but overall there is really, I mean, held up beautifully. And once again, this is leather as well, the stitching on this, and I love the color of this. You guys, I feel like I love my Louis Vuittons. I really do. I love so many things about them, uh, but those are definitely, I mean, double, triple the cost of these Rebecca Minkoff products. I think for the price point, these are worth it. Now, I don't, I can't say that about all of her products. I had another Rebecca Minkoff purse actually that I got rid of because it just didn't work for me. It, the size wasn't quite right. Um, and I think they might sell one of the, it was a, a smaller crossbody bag. Once again, really soft, supple leather. Um, another place you can find her handbags is at Nordstrom Rack and they will be discounted there as well. But if you want a choice of color and style, I would recommend you know Nordstrom or going to her actual website so you have kind of a choice. Usually when you shop discount, you just have a choice of what's there and that's it. Um, but I think you're still getting a leather handbag. These still look stinking brand new this many years later. This particular handbag is very well loved. It has traveled to many different states with me. I love this Moto Hobo. It's one of my absolute favorite bags ever. It is such a buttery soft leather. I think these are worth it. The Louis Vuitton handbags that I own aren't even leather. They're coated canvas. And so when you start comparing those apples to these oranges, um, you know, I just think that these have held up beautifully. I definitely would rec recommend checking out her handbags. I've really enjoyed them. I've gotten a lot of use out of them. And really handbag comes down to cost per wear. What does it mean to you? How do you use your handbags? Um, where do you use your, like, are you going to work every day? Are you like more of a casual style? And if you really, get a lot of use out of it, then by golly, <laughs> by golly, pull the trigger on these. I think you'll really enjoy them. I hope that answers any questions that you had while watching this video. And if I didn't touch on anything you would like me to answer, just leave me a comment below and I will, I will answer you to the best of my knowledge. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. Would love to have you here. And if you're curious about any of the other handbags that I own, I will add this video to a playlist and I'll link the playlist below of all the other handbags that I own. And I have quite a few reviews on things as well. So feel free to check those out. Have a fabulous day guys. And we'll chat again very soon.